Today we're going to investigate the patterns in the area and perimeter of a square as it steadily trims down to smaller and smaller sizes. This task is called trimming area and perimeter. What happens to the area and the perimeter of a square as you trim the parts of it? Well, that's what we're going to be investigating today. Your first step is to cut out two 10 by 10 square grids. Use one of the squares and put aside the other for the second investigation. Here's what your square grids look like. There's one and there is the other. Okay, trim one row of the grid from the top and one from the side so you have a nine by nine square grid. What is the area and what is the perimeter of the new square? Write it in the tables below. So here you first write your area of your 10 by 10 then your nine by nine. And then it says trim another layer of the grid from the top and from the right side. So we have an eight by eight square grid. What is the area and what is the perimeter of the new square? Write in the tables of the values below. So here you'll write eight by eight and then what the area is and what the perimeter is. Continue trimming one layer of the top and one from the right side. Write an area and perimeter for each new square. So after eight by eight, you should have seven by seven, then six by six, five by five, and so on. After completing the table, what patterns do you see in the numbers in the area column and the numbers in the perimeter column? Describe them here. Okay, here's part two. You're going to use your second 10 by 10 square grid. Write the area in the perimeter in the table below. So right here for your second one, it's 100 square units and the perimeter is 40. This time, just trim off the upper right corner, a one by one square. So here's what your new polygon is no longer a square is gonna look like. You just trimmed one square out of it. Now you're gonna cal calculate the area and the perimeter of the polygon and then show how you calculated it. Then you're going to trim off the next layer of that corner. So now it's gonna look like a two by two was trimmed off in the corner. Again, you're gonna find the area and the perimeter for your new polygon. You're gonna continue doing that for 10 different shapes. So you started with your whole 100 grid and then you slowly took one square unit off then a two by two, a three by three, and so on till you get 10 different polygons with different areas and perimeters. After completing the table, what patterns do you see in the numbers in the area and perimeter column? Describe them here. So really we're looking for patterns with area and perimeter for when we just remove a part of the square versus when we remove a whole length and a whole width of the square. So similar tasks, but they're slightly different so that we can look at the patterns and see how they're similar and different in these situations.